What up, mans? It's a thoughts, the cock of gold, the balls of beauty, and the anus, anus. of awesomeness. And I want to share with you guys a story today about the very first girl that got to eight thoughts, that took his heart and totally fucked it. Okay, well, she didn't really fuck it, I can't say. I, you know what, I'll be honest, I was a little bit hurt by this girl. And this was the first girl I ever fell in love with, and it was this uh, bitch named Tina. Back when I was 20 years old, 19 or 20 years old, well, fuck it, about 20, let's say. Uh, it's kind of irrelevant. And uh, she was a stripper, and she uh, was basically, I'd say, responsible for awakening and making the cock of gold. The beast. Of sexuality that it is today. Because this bitch was freaky as shit, man. She was a stripper, she was older than me, and she was definitely a little bit, if not, should I say, very much so, sexually mature than I was. I mean, dude, if you watch porno, right, and you fuck your girlfriend, a lot of it isn't really like porno. But this bitch was like fucking a porno star. This chick was crazy as shit, man. Fucking her in the ass. It was like the best ass fucking you've ever had in your life, man. It was like porno ass fucking. I don't know how she did it, how it was so sexy, but man, you could fuck her in the ass. She would take it like a champ. She would fuck her in the mouth. She was fucking loud. She was crazy. Dude, she basically was a whore. Yeah, that's what I'm going to say. She was a whore. But dude, she awakened eight thoughts to what I am today as a sexual beast that I've taken lessons from this individual, this girl named Tina, who was a stripper. And what she looked like, actually, I guess you might want to know what she looked like. She's about five foot eight. Uh, she was white, you know, uh, darker complexion. Uh, she had, uh, her hair was sort of done like that bitch uh, Uma Thurman from Pulp Fiction. You know, the black hair. If you don't know what Pulp Fiction Uma Thurman, just fucking Google that. And if you haven't seen Pulp Fiction before, then you're a fucking idiot, man. How could you not be watching Pulp fucking Fiction? One of the coolest fucking movies ever by Quentin Tarantino. The one of his best movies besides Reservoir Dogs. Check that shit out. And also, this bitch taught me a very valuable lesson. First of all, she taught me how to become a pussy-pounding champion. I don't know what the fuck happened. I mean, this bitch honestly was a bit out of my goddamn league back then. But you know what? As I have mentioned before... Confidence, my friends, act like a fucking pimp when I tried to ask her out, tried to act like a man, tried to act like, you know, a guy who knew what the fuck was going on when I approached her. And she bought it, man, and the next you know, she fell in love with me as well. But she did teach me a valuable lesson. And I should have listened to Too Short, and I didn't. Because Eight Thoughts fell in love with the whore, and Too Short has said. If you don't know who the fuck Too Short is, then fucking Google that too and get your head out your ass and start fucking listening to Too Short raps and watching fucking Pulp Fiction. God damn it. Too Short said, you can't turn a whore into a housewife. I should have fucking listened. Even my friend said the same thing, man. Dude, man, don't fall in love with this bitch. My man Slim, who is um, an older guy. He was an older pimp, actually. He's a black guy. He played basketball with his name Slim. He actually was a professional track and a field athlete for Nike. He lived in Seattle, but he, I live in Vancouver, Canada, but I knew him through basketball. And that's actually why I met Tina, Tina the sperm cleaner here, is because um, I got a hernia while playing basketball in California uh, at a JUCO called Visalia, College of Sequoias, perhaps you've heard of it. I was trying to transfer to Fresno State. Anyways, I got injured again. This is a long story. We're not talking about basketball career right now. We're talking about my pussy pounding Tina Tina sperm cleaner uh, titty stripper bitch. You shouldn't fucking fall in love with a whore. And this is what happened, man. I hurt myself, came back home, met her, blah, blah, blah. And I fell in love with her. My man, uh, Slim, big pimp Slim, professional track and field athlete for Nike, played basketball. He even told me, man, listen, man, keep your emotions out of it, bro. She's a player, man. She's a pimp. She's a fucking stripper. This bitch, is, you know, she knows what's going on. She's, he could even tell. He was old. He was about 34, 35 at the time, and I was only 20. This is about 10 years ago, so you can tell how old I am now. And I fucking didn't listen, man. I fell in love with a whore, man. And uh, shit went wrong. Uh, when I went back to school in California, uh, because that was the hat when I hurt myself. I hurt myself just after Christmas, so I had to come home and have hernia surgery. That's why I met her when I was at home getting rehab for trying to lift 275 pounds on the bench press at the weight room at the college. Because I was a fucking beast back then. Actually, my max on the bench press, someone asked that question, is 300 pounds. Uh, I'm nowhere near there right now. I'm in fucking horrible shape as far as weightlifting goes. I'm fucking have been lazy this winter. I don't know what the fuck happened. I haven't lifted weights in almost like seven months, eight months, which is like, I don't know what the fuck I'm thinking. But I'm going to get back in there very soon because... I can't be no soggy, fucking flat-chested, fat boy, you know, fucking doing video game commentaries. What kind of cock gold bullshit is that? Anyways, when I went back to school in the following year after spending the whole fucking spring, winter, whatever, fall, summer with her, whatever the fuck I want to call it, uh, from Christmas till September, she ended up cheating on me, like, within fucking two weeks after me leaving, man. And who's to say she wasn't cheating on me when I was fucking with her in Vancouver? I don't fucking know. The only reason why I found out she cheated on me when I was in California, because I guess she was actually decent enough to say, hey, listen, I cheated on you. This long-term relationship ain't going to work. I'm a fucking whore stripper, and I do rails of coke, and I'm ain't going to fucking, you know, kick it with uh, someone from living in California. I'm going to be fucking in Vancouver partying. So I was like, well, you know what? Eight thoughts ain't no punk. I was upset. I was hurt. I ain't going to lie. But I told the bitch on the phone, you know, go fuck yourself, you fucking whore. 
Thanks for me. Fuck you in the ass and blast my nut over your face. It's been a fucking pleasure. No shit, dude. I went off on on the phone. If anyone knows me, I got a temper and I do some random shit. I went fucking off and basically called her a cunt, a whore. Yeah, the C word. It went crazy. And uh, yeah, fucking haven't seen her. haven't talked to her since. But the funny thing is, she did try to get back in touch with me a few years back. She somehow saw me on Facebook. Tina, if you see this, um, yeah. You cunt? Fuck you, man. But I should have learned. The T-O-O-S-H-O-R-T told me, listen, don't fall in love with the fucking whore. Can't turn a whore into a housewife. And uh, I should have fucking known, man. Should have fucking known, but whatever. I do appreciate it, though, because she did teach me a lot of lessons, man. Like how to fuck a chick in the ass properly and then put it in her mouth ATM style. Yeah! But anyways, the funny thing was, as well as this, because she was a stripper, and my parents went away for the summer, but before, uh, you know, my parents went away for the summer and I stayed home to train for basketball and get myself back in shape, Tina then came to stay at my parents' place while my parents were gone on vacation for the entire summer. So I basically had this nice pimped out apartment in uh, Vancouver, and Tina had friends as well who were strippers, and one of them needed a place to stay for a few weeks because I don't know what the fuck was going on. Um, but dude, she ended up staying at my house, and I wish I could sit here and, and tell you that I ended up having a threesome with two strippers. But eight thoughts keeps it real; it never happened. But the funny thing was that this chick's friend, Aunt, or Tina's friend, didn't give a fuck about walking around naked because she's a stripper, she's a whore, whatever. It was just fucking crazy. Twenty-year-old guy was fucking banging strippers, hanging out in strip clubs, having strippers walk around naked at his apartment. It was fucking awesome. You know what? And it was worth it, man. So I say, what well, is one of the funnest times of my life? And uh, yeah, uh, you can't turn a whore into a housewife. And I'm out of here. You can't turn a whore into a housewife. So just fucking keep it real and fuck it with your cockatiel.